what's going on guys mush back at it with another video i want to take a look at some good pc hardware deals on top of that i'm going to take a look at some gaming laptops maybe it's a route some of you guys want to go with the pc market right now i saw a comment a few weeks ago uh with someone asking me if i could cover the laptop market and just look at that occasionally and maybe it's something i'll do i actually want to pick up one of these laptops and start benchmarking laptops i feel like that would target a different audience if people are into it i know a lot of people you know in a few months are going to be going back to campuses school they're opening back up a lot of people want to pick up a laptop so maybe that's something i'll get into I actually have like a five-year-old laptop with a 960m in it that i'm gonna test out so that'll be interesting but yeah we'll take a look at that and also we're gonna take a look at some game deals at the end of this video First of all, some hardware deals and some monitor deals I want to take a look at quickly. If you're looking for a power supply, EVGA 650 watt semi-modular power supply, 80 plus gold is $70. Now, this has a list price of $120. In no right mind should you pay $120 for it, but it does typically go for like $85 to $90. So $70 is a decent little discount on it if you're looking for a high quality 650 watt power supply. I was using an EVGA 650 watt for a while. I don't right now, but uh, it was not uh, modular. So yeah, you got a semi-modular one here as well. So 70 bucks for that I thought was pretty decent. As far as monitors, we have a couple of them that are discounted right now. There is the Lenovo Curved Gaming Monitor. This is a 21 by 9 ultra wide monitor. So it's, uh, it's boasting a resolution of 3440 by 1440. On top of that, AMD FreeSync is here as well, 144 hertz. And this typically goes for $480 is the list price right now it is down to $338 so a 30% off discount if you are looking into getting into ultra wide one of my boys hypes up ultra wide like nobody's business I still have not made the leap to get an ultra wide monitor that's just not something I'm into right now maybe down the line but yeah, that was a pretty significant discount, so thought I would give a mention to that as well. Alternatively, if you want a standard 2560x1440p monitor with a 144Hz ref uh, refresh time, uh, you can get the MSI monitor that is... 27 inches, once again, a curved monitor, but this is going to be, you know, your standard 2560 by 1440. This typically goes for a list price of 400 bucks, but again, $400 is kind of an egregious price to pay for a monitor like this. You know, 300 320 would be around uh, a decent price point for it, but at 270 that's a pretty good discount off its regular price, so that's not bad either. Uh, on top of that, a couple of other things as far as hardware is concerned. If you are a Prime subscriber, it looks like they are doing some deals on Team Group uh, items. Team Group RAM, the Elite Plus, 16 gigabyte kit, two 8 gigabyte sticks is $72, so that's pretty decent for 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's 3200 megahertz. Not bad at all for ddr4 ram right there and then if you want an ssd not an nvme your standard ssd they have a team group t-force vulcan one terabyte ssd for 95 dollars so that's pretty good as well a, a terabyte of ssd storage is pretty solid for 95 bucks i think that's a good pickup i know a lot of people are moving on to nvme and yes they are super super fast but for mass storage a 95 dollar ssd that'll give you a terabyte is still pretty accessible in my opinion couple of things i want to note also as far as laptop are concerned so this is seeing a discount it's an okay deal and i'll explain why in a second alienware m15 r3 this is boasting an intel core i7 10750h a 10th gen 6 gigabytes of ddr4 ram 512 gigabyte ssd and an rtx 2060 6 gigabyte now that's going for 1314 dollars it notes that its list price is around 1650 dollars that sounds really really high i know laptops are traditionally just more expensive for what you buy than say getting a desktop 1315 for this still sounds a little bit expensive but hey the alienware label sometimes it is what it is i however did also notice the dell gaming g3 3500 this includes an intel core i7 10750h 16 gigabytes of ddr4 ram 512 gigabyte ssd nvidia geforce rtx 2060 6 gigabyte and then of course windows 10 all that good stuff and this is 1130 dollars so that's another option that's a little bit cheaper cheaper if you guys do want that the the alienware does also boast a 144 hertz screen so that is something to note that's not bad at all uh so yeah you guys can make your decision if you're looking to pick any one of those up i thought i would mention both of them 
want to pick one of these up uh, for testing. If you guys have any recommendations for laptops you'd like to see tested on the channel, let me know. These are pretty expensive. Probably going to get one, see how the reception is. I have a family member that wants to get a gaming laptop as well, so I can kill two birds with one stone by producing content for the channel and then also getting a family member a nice gaming laptop. So just let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section down below what you guys would like to see. Uh, okay, a couple of other things I do want to know quickly as far as Steam deals go. Want to note that Remedy has some titles on sale, some of their games on sale. Alan Wake is 75% off for $374. I was one of those people that picked up Alan Wake back in 2010 when it came out on the Xbox 360. Um, and, you know, that was a full $60. And I really enjoyed the game. Yes, it was incredibly short. It's like six to seven hours long. And that was really the downfall of the game and why it didn't do, you know, slam dunk numbers commercially. But now for $3.74, it's great. PC port is excellent and visually still you know, looks relatively good. 374 is a great buy for that. And then also, Remedy's latest title, Control Ultimate Edition, that is also 60% off $15.99. This includes Control, the base game, as well as the DLC. I loved Control. I thought Control was their best game, Remedy's best game. That might be a little bit of a controversial opinion. I thought the gameplay was excellent. Obviously, narrative, a little bit trippy at times, but super compelling as well. And I thought Control was awesome. A visual treat as well if you do have a machine that can run it relatively well. Well, and the requirements aren't that high anyway. So yeah, check that out as well. Base game and the DLC think that's a pretty good pickup. That's going to wrap up this one. As always, if you do buy anything using the Amazon links, the channel gets a little bit of a kickback. Will help me buy stuff like a laptop to test for the channel. And again, we got a five-year-old 960M laptop, so let's check that out in the coming days. We'll probably test out Bioimmune and a couple of the other games. By, by the way, I've been playing Bioimmune. I'm digging the game. We'll talk more about that later as I put more hours into it. But that's going to wrap up this one. If you guys have a request for a future video, leave it in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.